people are interested in trying to really exploit the hell out of the new town school shooting especially religious leaders you have individuals like Mike Huckabee and quite a few others that are talking about how since God was not in schools since they didn't pray to God all this shooting happened Woo! spooky scary This kind of fear-mongering is one of the things that really infuriates me as a human being. It infuriates me as a theist that it, their interest is not so much to teach people how to worship the divine and to how to live ethical and moral lives. Their, for, for their focus and their purpose is to create fear. Let me say that one more time. The purpose and goal of these malevolent pieces of ignorant, flatulent pieces of human garbage are interested in doing nothing more than making people afraid. People are scared enough as it is. You know, I, I had a conversation with a couple of fundamentalist Christians and, you know, they asked me, oh, did you hear about what happened in Connecticut? Did you hear about what happened in Connecticut? Oh, spooky scary. I said, yes, I heard about what happened in Connecticut. It is a very tragic situation. And I'm praying for the, you know, families of the children that, you know, were killed as well as teachers, blah, blah, blah. And I said, well, you need to cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. Oh, spooky scary. Spooky scary. Spooky scary. And in all honesty, I'm getting really sick and tired of these religious leaders, these in these. Uh, I'm getting sick and tired of the fear mongering. Look, let me put it to you this way. When it's your time to go, it's your time to go. But in the meantime, if you don't want to go just yet, you know, avoid situations where you will be trapped. Try to find a place where you can get away. Learn how to duck. And if you need to protect somebody, protect them by all means. Do so. But living in fear and living in constant turmoil and these religious leaders that exploit this fear make me ill. It makes me sick. It honestly does because it proves that you really don't have faith in your deity. Why do you say that, Uncle Dumont? Because in the book of 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 7, God did not give us a spirit of fear but of love, power, and of a sound mind. And when you participate in this fear mongering saying that oh if because you didn't let us convert your children this is what happens to you really is your god that much of a vindictive self-centered prick really is that what he is is he a really a self-centered egotistical maniacal prick that he's going to allow children to be killed just so that he can get people to worship him Think about this for a minute. What kind of God is that? I seriously hope there is a hell. I believe there is. I believe, actually, believe it or not, I believe there's a hell, but I believe you really have to work hard to get there. You have to put in effort. You have to strive. You have to go out of your way to make people's lives miserable. You have to go out of your way to make people absolutely hate you in order to get there. You have to really put in effort and you gotta top people that have already gotten there. 
And I believe that if there is a hell, a lot of these religious leaders are going to wind up being there. Why? Because instead of teaching faith, they taught fear. Instead of taught teaching peace, they taught hate. Instead of teaching forgiveness, they taught bitterness. They did everything the opposite of what their religious leader taught them to do. So if you're sick and tired of hearing these people as much as I am, I think it's time we stop giving stupid people attention. I think it's time we stop giving these people our time. You know, yes, I understand. It's necessary to know what these individuals are saying, but you know what? There comes a point where you have to say, eh, you know what? You want to believe that garbage? You can stand right over there. The adults over here are going to be working to fix this situation while you're sitting on your fat ass pontificating. Pontificate away. We're going to be talking amongst ourselves and we're actually going to be trying to fix this stuff. And if you're not willing to participate, you can't claim credit. And if you try, we will hurt you. Sit down and shut the fuck up. Stop exploiting the deaths of these children to strike fear into the hearts of people who want to be religious. Do you wonder why people are leaving your churches? That is why. Because you're selfish, self-centered, egotistical, glory-hogging pieces of human garbage. And I wish somebody would throw you out.